What's going on, Jerome's? So Jaden Daniels Pro Day is going on right meow, and I, I didn't think that I would be going down the rabbit hole like I would, but yeah, th th things things have, have, have things are happening. So we have a, a brand new conspiracy that we need uh, investigating, and there's actually a little something something there. So uh, rap sheet sort of uh, innocuously uh, pointed out that hey, it's Jaden Daniels Pro Day, and blah blah blah. But everyone got. I mean, I mean, everyone was thrown th through a loop uh, by the photo that Rap Sheet used uh, showing uh, Jane, Del uh, Jane Daniels' elbow looking kind of kind of off, kind of weird. Now, uh, immediately you think, OK, it's a it's clearly clearly he's throwing the ball. It's in, in motion. The ball is kind of blurry. It's like Bigfoot. Maybe he is blurry. And maybe this is just like one of those weird action shots where. Uh, you know, it, it, muscle and ligament and bone and all that stuff and sinew and sure, sure. Or is this like one of those AI photos where they have the extra finger? I don't know, man. But we went down the rabbit hole and we went looking for some answers. And there actually is a little something, something. So photo uh, originally uh, was posted a USA Today. It looks like November 15th uh, was the first instance uh, of it. So uh, mid uh, mid November, uh, LSU, uh, as Jaden Daniels was on his Heisman campaign, and I, I swear to everything that's holy, I, I did way too many Google image searches of Jaden da Daniels' elbow. <laughs> but you, you can see, so the top left quadrant, back into the left, back into the left. You know, th there's a little, little bit of a bump there, and then there's one where he's clearly wearing. Well, it's either a bandage or it's one of those, uh, you, know, you know, turf tape things that they put on so the guys don't get rug burn when they're playing on artificial surfaces. Uh, bottom left is, you know, a little, a little something, something there. Uh, and then on the right is sort of whatever. And then we went back to Jaden Daniels at Arizona State and the elbow. I don't know. Like, is this like one of those Reddit things where it's like her, her elbows are too pointy? Zero out of ten. I don't know, but I think it looks like an elbow there. Also, look at Rashad White, number three, in the background. I mean, those Arizona State teams with Ike and stuff, they should have won more. Herm, come on, man. Come on. But we dug even further. So we went, we went into the, the, the forums. So Tiger Droppings. Uh, this is from October 3rd, 2022. Uh, Brian Kelly updates Jane Daniels status and blah, 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 blah. Because, all right, so Jane Daniels had an off game against Auburn and people wanted to know why. And the question was, how was Daniels physically and two, uh, and two after five games? Are, are you aware? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Brian Kelly. Now, TBD, if he said this in that fake ass, uh, Cajun accent that he picked up when he went from Notre Dame to Baton Rouge. Uh, Daniels is fine. He had a bursa sack, which I don't know the exact medical deal with that. I wish I could be a little bit more precise and, and articulate, but it's not structural at all, uh, but it's painful, so he was in pain. So he, he's talking about how the the October 1st game of 2022, so two years ago, uh, they were playing at Auburn. Uh, they eventually did get the win, 21-17, to 17, because – Carry on my J word son. I had a scoop and score for a touchdown. No big deal. Uh, but Jane Daniels, uh, not not a great day throwing the ball. Uh, eight for twenty, uh, completing forty percent of his passes uh, for eighty yards. Also, his backup Nussmeyer also came in for uh, a, a couple of drives. Uh, but then you know they talked about the burst of sack issue, which you know, could be related to the elbow. Who knows, man? But uh, Daniels, you know, whatever they did, uh, he did bounce back nicely against Florida and Mississippi in the next two games. He had 300 plus uh, pa passing yards. Excuse me, Tennessee and Florida, uh, where he had uh, 300 plus yards passing, completed over 70 percent of his passes in each of those games. Uh, so everything is all good. Now, a lot of people in the comments uh, have said maybe it's uh, bursitis. So uh, also, don't don't uh, web MD anything because. I, I just looked up, hey, what's up with uh, Jaden Daniels' elbow? And it says that I'm going to die. So, I don't know. Uh, but bursitis is a painful condition that affects the small fluid-filled sacs called bursae that cushion the bones, tendons, and muscles near your joints. Now, further down the rabbit hole. So, uh, you know, there, there's this whole thing is that whenever anything metal comes up, uh, the Twitter doctors come out. Uh, but Jesse Morris... MD. And of course, anyone could put MD by the name, but uh, Jesse Morris has actually built up like a, a really nice following. Uh, he's in sports medicine, and he has some very good takes on some of these sports injuries. So this is what he wrote today. Uh, Jane Daniels appears to be dealing with a 
I'm not saying that. Uh, bursitis on his right throwing elbow. This is an inflammation of the bursa, which is a sac that is usually empty. Uh, and there is uh, and is there to protect the bone underneath. We have them in several joints, including the elbow and the knee. Banging your elbow against a hard surface often results in inflammation of the bursa. See, th this is what Jaden Daniels gets uh, for uh, doing these uh, off-the-books UFC fights or MMA fights where he's going 6 to midnight. It's illegal, man. That's how John Jones got uh, DQ'd in the one loss that he had. Allegedly, uh, but uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is a protective mechanism to pretend, uh, prevent fracturing the bone underneath. Uh, these are very common and more annoying than concerning, as long as they're not infected. Uh, these can be drained, aspirated. Aspirated sounds kind of nice. Uh, it's like, hey, uh, I'll take a, a lemon aspirated or, or eh, uh, with a needle, but often these will fill back up. I've had good success with injecting uh, PRP, plasma, plasma from the blood. Uh, is it the one where they spin the blood and then put it back in you? Mm. Uh, to make these go away permanently. For some people, they are very stubborn. These are quite an eyesore and look really funny, as you can see with Jaden Daniels. Uh, they, these usually do not have a negative impact on the player person. Uh, this should not impact the ability to throw or cause any pain. Uh, literally just a visual oddity. So, I don't know, like... So, Jaden Daniels, he didn't do measurements or throw at the combine, but I believe he did his medicals. Uh, and I think if this was something that was legitimately concerning by teams, I think we would have heard about it by now. So, I think it's just more, you know, rap sheet using that specific photo and then it just sort of going viral like that where I I had not even noticed it uh, before in, you know, photos of uh, Jaden Daniels or looking back at some of the tape. It just it really doesn't stick out. I mean, it, it just looks like a pointy elbow, the people's elbow. Uh, by, by the way, but uh, now you know, he hearing the you know, explanation uh, from uh, from uh, you know, the sports medicine doctors, like I, I don't know, is this a thing? I, I, I guess to find out. But it, it's so funny where all of a sudden, like one of my conspiracies actually have uh, have some legs to it. It's actually kind of fun. Uh, also, tiger dropping, Skull SU. Let's go, let's go, man. Anyways, uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, what the hell is going on with Jaden Daniels elbow? We, we found maybe maybe we found some answers. Who knows? Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes once worth the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.